Okay, so today was a lot. I woke up and I had a whole plan. I was gonna film earlier today. I was gonna do my nails. I was gonna prep for a test shoot, all these things like that. But then I got this notification for this shelf that I've been waiting for from Ikea, right? And I've been waiting for this shelf since I moved in here. So it's been well over what, six, seven months going on. That feels dramatic, but it's been some months and I've been waiting for this shelf. It finally came in stock. So I had to ask my dad for his car, drive to Jersey and back. The traffic was absolutely ridiculous and it honestly ate up my entire day, but I have my shelf now, so I'm happy. Let me show you her. This is her, very cute, very sleek, simple. And I'm a big fan. If you have any ideas of how I should like decorate my shelves, That'd be lovely. I'm open to them. So drop them in the comments. Any ideas, decor ideas, things like that. This is not how I'm keeping it. This is just what I'm putting here in the meantime. So it's not just an empty shelf sitting there. But yeah, it was $60 from Ikea. So cheap and amazing. It's about 70 inches high, 70 inches tall. So yeah, love her. Happy I got her. But now it's literally nighttime and I had things that I had to do today that I did not do that I have to do now. So I have to prep for my test shoot tomorrow, which is pretty much just me figuring out my outfits that I want to bring and figuring out how I want to do my makeup. I'll probably do a very simple face like this, but I don't know, maybe I'll switch it up. I probably will switch it up. I, really I don't know. The problem is I don't have enough time to figure it out, but we're going to try to figure something out that will look good and that'll make the shoot worth it. So it's a paid test shoot. It's not a free one, so I'm paying for it myself with a really great photographer. I'm really excited to shoot with him, actually. He's a friend of my cousin, but he also happens to be really reputable in the industry, which is amazing for me. So I'm excited about that. So I also have to do my nails. And right now these are press-ons and I have a new set and they're honestly, they're so perfect. They're so natural and neutral and my nails underneath are growing really quickly and they're strengthening up because they're resting pretty much and it's great. But I have to redo them and that takes, that takes a little minute too, so. And then I wanted to finish editing the vlog that I started editing earlier this week, but I didn't finish editing yet, so I have to do that. And there's just a lot that I have to do right now, and I'm a little stressed, but we're gonna get it done. We're gonna get it done. We're gonna get it done. I just have to keep telling myself that so I don't freak out. <laughs> okay, so right now, let's figure out what I'm wearing. Yeah. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, there's something about this yeah. girl, man. Track like magnets. She sees more than a Benz wagon. The friends tagging along. The flashy nigga bragging on the song. She gets a glimpse of Sean and she likes that. He two ways up, so she writes back. Smiley faces after all of her phrases. Even she the one on caught in the matrix. Fuck it, let the fish burn. Red or green pill. Okay, so I figured out my outfits for tomorrow, which is great. Now it's nine o'clock and I like to usually go to bed 
I used to be in bed usually by 10 the latest and then like asleep by 10 45 so we'll see how fast I can do this but like I said I use press-ons the brand that I usually use is kiss and it's the bare but better line it's legit like eight dollars at CVS it's amazing it looks so natural excuse not like what's happening here what's gonna happen here it's very natural and like very cute and it's just I know my nails will be good they won't break like it's easy peasy for like at least two weeks so that's what we're gonna put back on right now but first i have to take these off and i can get a little ratchet and do a, a metro car but i'm too scared of like messing up my nail like actually so i'm gonna drill off the top and maybe soak for like 10 minutes each hand i might just drill and see how it goes so let's see i can't believe i believe that Hi, so I got the raw images back from that test shoot, which I'm really excited about. So usually how a test shoot works is that when you agree to shoot with the photographer, you guys decide on the amount of images you'll get back. And so in this case, we decided on eight images to get back, eight edited pictures to get back. Um, this photographer was nice enough to send me all of the raw shots that we took during the shoot and it was like 170 something shots that I had to go through and decide which eight that I want him to take and then edit. And you don't always get this choice. Sometimes the photographer will send the images to your agent first and they'll end up picking the shots for you. But since I paid for this test shoot myself and set it up myself, I went through and chose the images that I wanted. So very happy about that because <laughs> you don't always get to see and choose which ones you want and sometimes your agent may like certain ones that you didn't like and vice versa so i'm happy i got to decide which images i liked from this shoot specifically so i'll scroll through like the raw ones so you can see them really quickly not all of them but so you can see some of them and then once i get the edited pictures i'll probably post them on my instagram or something like that or maybe make a short and post it there so really happy about that so yeah after that test shoot was over i couldn't film while i was at the test shoot which is why you only saw like the beginning clip of when i first got there but it was about two hours long that's how much we paid for studio time um the photographer was so nice the woman manisha whose studio it is she was also really great i'll leave their tags below here so you can see their work as well but it was honestly a really great shoot really great energy and i think we got really great shots so i'm excited about that and yeah, I got the raw images and I'll scroll through so you can see some of those. Just, just so you can have an idea of what the raw images look like. They're just like pre, pre edits, like just how he took them from his camera. So yeah, that'll pretty much be the end of this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs> Can I tell you something for what is good? Where you have it?